Hey guys, I'm back. This is Leah K Food again, and today we're gonna learn how to make the like the soul food of Korea. Soul food of Korea. <laughs> And it's called kimchi. I'm sure you've heard of it at least once in your entire life, but you, if you haven't, I'm so, I pity you. Anyway, so Korean people call it kimchi, and everyone calls it kimchi. If I explain it in an American way, I guess it's pickled spicy cabbage. I know it sounds kind of gross if you say it that way, but it's actually really good. So let me explain the ingredients. This is Napa cabbage. You can buy at any Asian um, market or anything. And so it's not that heavy. It looks heavy, but it's actually not. And the size doesn't matter because usually they come in these, this size. Remember, it's called Napa cabbage, not just those round cabbages that America has. Napa cabbage, the long ones that look like this, okay? And also, these, this is optional. Carrots, Sli a little bit of sliced carrots. It's for that red color that kimchi has a little bit, and it's for a bit of crunch because there's bits of carrots in there. This is also optional. The onions are also optional. This is green onion. This is regular onion. This one's the one that makes you cry when you cut it. This one is for a bit of green among the red, and it's healthier, and the texture in it is really good. It's a like crunch soft. And this is for a bit more crunch. I, I don't know why there's so much crunch. And it also gives it a type of flavor that you'll understand once you try kimchi. But if you don't have any onions, which you probably should have, then you don't have to put it in. So these three are optional. This Just this alone will taste pretty good, but these just perfect it. And also, I forgot to mention, there, there are hundreds of hundreds of ways to make kimchi, but this is just one of them. It isn't like 100% original kim Korean kimchi, but it's close enough So, because original kimchi has a lot of ingredients in it that you might not get be able to get your hands on. So today we're just gonna use easy ingredients. It's 80% about kimchi. It's very simple and easy, so make sure you watch the end. Okay, let me finish explaining the ingredients. We got fish sauce. You can use any type of fish sauce. You can get it at Asian markets, just like the Napa cabbage. It doesn't matter what kind of fish sauce you use, just fish sauce. We're using Korean one today. It even has the little kimchi. They're different types of kimchi. And we're gonna be using this today. And you can also use minced garlic. You can just, if you have like whole garlics at home, you can just like dice them really fast and use that. But I don't, I, I can't use any knives or like chop stuff, so we just bought a big container. And then, here is the cornstarch. It looks really satisfying, it looks like clear slime. You know what cornstarch is though, so I don't need to explain it. Any type of cornstarch is fine. And this is like the most important ingredient in making kimchi. It's called, red pepper powder. You can't use American because those are for like different types of food, but Korean red pepper powder is specifically for kimchi. And this tastes so good. So it looks like this. It, just make sure you use Korean red, uh, red pepper powder because it's gonna um, taste really weird if you use American. No offense. I know it's a little bit expensive, but there's quite a lot in here. And you can just use it without having to go shopping every single time. And it's totally worth it, it's delicious. If you keep watching my vids, you will see that we use this almost every single time, except for the desserts and like sweet stuff. But this is really worth it, you should really buy it, I recommend it. But if you don't wanna go shopping and like you don't wanna, you don't wanna get this because it's too expensive, so we got this. It's sriracha chili sauce, chili garlic sauce. This is close enough to red pepper powder, so you might as well use it. So you can buy this at Target or Walmart, and it's pretty cheap, but so you can use this. But today, I'm gonna make traditional, like half traditional kimchi, so I'm gonna be using 50-50. 50 of this and 50 of that. 
And last two ingredients, we also need sugar, as you can see here, just a little bit, not too much, and a bit of MSG, but if you do not have it, you can use chicken stock or beef stock. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, so I cut the, well, I didn't cut it, my dad cut it. Here is the carrots, thin strips like this, as you can see, and the onions in thin little things like this. And for the onions, you just chop it into pretty much bite-sized pieces, like this. Okay, now, this is a bit easy, so my dad will let me cut it. So that you make it bite-sized about here, okay? And go all the way down. Oh, this is so satisfying. I know it's a bit messy, but you just have to pick them up. Okay, ta-da! I cut it like this. I know it's messy, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna be pickling it in salt water, and we're gonna be putting this in the bowl anyway, so. Oh, um, the onion is killing my eyes right now. Let me cover it with this. Okay, now I'm fine. Okay, um, let's start pickling it. Okay, so I'm just gonna Oof. I know Napa cabbages are so big, so you have a lot of kimchi to eat after you finish. So it's so worth it. I mean, look at this. This is gonna last us a month, and we are a family of four. My little sister loves kimchi, so she literally like, so we have to make a lot every single time. Okay, now I'm done putting it in the bowl. I'm just gonna move this to the side for a little bit. Here's the bowl, very big. Now I'm gonna start pickling. So what you do, get a tablespoon, this size tablespoon, and get two tablespoons of salt. Oh yeah, and I forgot the salt when I was introducing the ingredients, like this. Any kind of salt, basically, two tablespoons, okay? That's one. Just sprinkle it around like sprinkles on a donut. Two, and then you're gonna add four tablespoons of water, okay? One, two, three, four. There we go. And then start mixing it. Um, if you have like cuts on your hand, it's gonna really hurt because it's salty. Wear some gloves and start mixing it, okay? Like this, so it gets all over the lettuce. So what you do is gently massage it and like flip it once in a while. And also if there's two big ones like this that you can't fit in your mouth at once, just rip it in half. Mm -hmm. Then bring the bottom ones up. And then keep massaging. So after you think it's been mixed pretty good, take one more tablespoon of salt and sprinkle it around. And then after that, just press it down, okay, like this. Press it down. Excuse me, Mr. Salt. Like this. And then leave it for about 20 minutes. And then when, it, when the alarm goes off, Flip it over, mix it a little bit, and then wait another 20 minutes. So this is gonna take about 40 minutes. While we're waiting the 20 minutes, I might as well make the sauce. So I'm gonna put this to the side. You're a big boy. Anyway, okay, let's make the sauce. Okay, now let's start making the sauce. Remember the carrots and the onions and the, the green onions? We're just gonna dump it in a bowl to make the sauce. You, remember, this is optional, so you can skip this step if you want. But honestly, if it was me, I would put these in. Green onions now. It's a lot of vegetables. It's healthy for you. Eat your vegetables. I'm a kid and even I know that. Okay, now we're gonna put in two tablespoons of the fish sauce. Woo, it smells. One, and two. Okay, two tablespoons of fish sauce. 
Okay, so we're gonna do one tablespoon of sugar. Okay, one tablespoon of sugar. It's okay if you go to a little over if you like your kimchi sweet. And then half a spoon of MSG. You don't have to put a lot in, you can put a little bit in if you want, but I'm just gonna put half a spoon in. Scrape it out. Okay, let's put these to the side. And then we're gonna get two tablespoons garlic sauce. I mean, minced garlic. One, I'm putting a little bit more because my family likes garlic. And garlic smells good. Mm, this garlic smells really good. Okay, and we need one tablespoon of corn syrup. Oh, it's ju just so satisfying how it just comes down like clear slime. Look at that, I mean, wow. And one tablespoon. It looks like nothing's in it, it's really cool. I love corn syrup. Just sprinkle it in. Okay, now I'm gonna put one tablespoon of the garlic, I mean chili garlic sauce, and I'm gonna put one tablespoon of red pepper powder. But honestly, if you like it spicier, this is a bit more spicy. So you can put both tablespoons with red pepper powder, or if you don't have this on hand, you can just do two tablespoons of this. But I'm gonna do 50-50 because honestly, I think that you need at least a little bit of red pepper powder if you wanted to taste the kimchi. Okay, now let's start. Okay, let's pour that. It smells spicy. Okay. And then now for the red pepper powder. Oh, they both smell so spicy. One tablespoon. So once you mix it like this, you're gonna notice that it's really thick. Like it's hard to mix and stuff. But I have the perfect tip for it. You know how kimchi is kind of sweet, but it's spicy at the same time? So what I do is I add three tablespoons of 7-Up, but I don't have it right now. So I'm gonna use pear juice, like pear juice. I know it sounds weird, but it's actually delicious. Pear juice. So I'm gonna mix it a little bit and then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of pear juice. Also remember you can add seven up if you have some on hand. Ah, it smells so good. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna actually drink a cup after this. Okay. One, two, three. Also, pear juice is delicious just by drinking it cold. It's like the, so good. There's cans at Asian markets that you can buy too. Okay, now I'm gonna continue mixing it. Oh, it smells so good. Um, so you have to mix really good so the uh, sugar in it melts like properly. So just keep mixing. And it smells delicious if you put pear juice in it, but I guess 7-Up smells pretty good too. Now all the preparations are complete. So in 20 minutes, I will mix it again and I will see you later. So it's been about 20 minutes and I mixed it and then another 20 minutes, I just left it alone. And now it's been about 40 minutes. So as you can see, it's been 40 minutes and remember it was very stiff and hard at the start. Well now, as you can see, these hard parts are bendy. But this one, some of them aren't as bendy as they're supposed to be, but it's fine because that leaves the crunchy kimchi. This one's bendy. It doesn't bend all the way, but as you can see. <laughs> so as you can see, it like, it shrunk and it's two times smaller. And look, this one's bendy, see, it bends. And look, the leaves are all like shriveled up like this. It's a result of salt, water, and it should look like this. And it should look like this. So we need to go to the sink and wash it. I'm gonna wash it three times because, so you don't wash it before we do the salt water, we wash it after we do the salt water. Okay, as you can see, it's tiny now. 
but it's actually quite a lot once you eat it. So we need, we washed it, right? So we need to get the water out because if there's water left in it, it's gonna be bland. So we need to get all the water. You can either just hold it up and shake it a little for like five minutes, or you can just press it down really hard for five minutes. Oop. You just need to get the water out. It doesn't matter how you do it. Okay, now that we've got the water out, we're gonna dump this back into the bowl. Remember the sauce that we made with the garlic chili sauce and like the red pepper powder? This. We are gonna dump this in here, just sprinkle it over the cabbage so it gets out evenly. And then I'm gonna put on my gloves and I'm gonna mix it with my hands. My hands are a bit wet, so it's hard to get the gloves on. Okay, time to mix. It smells really good at this point. It smells just like you can Just get the sauce into every crease you can and it will be perfect. I can smell the pear juice now. It smells so good. I think it's all mixed. I'm just gonna try one for taste. Perfecto. So because I'm a kid, I like not spicy stuff. So I put one tablespoon of red pepper powder. So, but if you like spicy stuff, you can put a little bit more and it'll be spicier. And the spicier it gets, the redder and the more tastier it looks. But honestly, I'm fine with this color. It's like just pinkish. This is my style, but you can do like spicier, less spicy, more onions, more carrots, more red pepper. I'm gonna try displaying it now, okay? Here we go. Do you know the best thing to eat kimchi with? Hot ramen. And this is kimchi flavor, so it's gonna be really good. I haven't eaten lunch yet, so I'm hungry. Let's eat. Okay, so what you do is, because it's still hot, and grab a little bit. I'm gonna eat it and then eat the kimchi. ASMR, okay, listen. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. It's the perfect combination. Cold, spicy kimchi, plus kimchi flavored hot ramen with this noodles and the little meatballs. It's just perfect. So it's, it's still tasty, uh, even if you eat it right after you make it, but it's even better if you let it ferment outside, um, like on your table for about a day, and then put it back inside the fridge and eat it the next day. Oh my God, it's so good. You should try that too. You know how you, when you go to like Korean markets and like do, 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 and then you look for kimchi and it's like this small and it's like $10? Outrageous, so my dad makes a lot of our kimchi. It's delicious. It is cheap. It tastes better than the ones at the store, I'm just saying, and it's really easy to make and it's delicious too. And also, let me just tell you one thing. Kimchi is from Korea. The kimchi starts with a K, Korea starts with a K, and the Korean people have been making it for over 10,000 years. So anyway, next time I will see you and we will do another very fun cooking project and I will see you next time. Bye!